Hi, I'm Amber Eden and I'm the editor of A Sewing Magazine and today I'm going to be talking to you about doing a ribbon embroidery, which is a really beautiful technique um, that started somewhere in the 1700s in France and it really it had popularity throughout the centuries and on into the 20th century, but especially in the Edwardian area and up into the early 1920s. Um, it was especially popular for embellishment on a dress like this. And as you can see this garment is historically inspired, but it, it's a dress also that looks very, very current for today. And you can see this beautiful ribbon embroidery. It's uh, nature inspired. Um, there were a lot of motifs that were taken from nature at that time and it spills up and over the dress. And it's just a really great little black dress and it's made out of a four ply uh, silk that drapes beautifully. Um, but this ribbon technique, you could also take it and you could put it on a bag or um, a sweater. Uh, this ribbon embroidery technique looks really beautiful as an embellishment on really any type of garment or accessory. And it's so simple and so easy even though it looks much harder than it is. And so the first thing that you wanna do is um, you want to transfer the template. And this, this downloadable template is actually um, available online. You'll be able to download it. And so you, you get your template and print it out. And you want to use embroidery tracing paper. And um, the embroidery tracing paper is really great because it comes in a dark version. And then there is a yellow version, which can be used on darker fabrics. And I'm going to be using the yellow version today. Um, because we have a really beautiful um, four-ply silk, a navy uh, fabric. And the wonderful thing about um, when you are doing ribbon embroidery, whatever you are choosing to embroider it on, because ribbon embroidery has a little bit, uh, the applique has a little bit more heft to it, you definitely want to pick a fabric that has some body to it. And the wonderful thing about four-ply silk, which is just about the best fabric ever anyway, um, is that it has such great body, but it also has a nice drape to it too. And to stabilize the embroidery itself on the wrong side of the fabric, you're going to want to put some, uh, some fusible trico. And you just fuse that onto the area where the ribbon embroidery will actually be. Um, and you know, then that will stabilize it so that you can um, do your ribbon embroidery work. And so then the next thing you want to do when you're transferring the template is you just want to lay this tracing paper with the colored side down. And, and then you just want to lay your template on top of it and line it up. And then you would literally use a ballpoint pen or a stylus. You don't need to um, have it open, just keep it closed. And you literally just trace um, the lines of the template. And you don't need to trace in the flowers or the buds because um, that's not really necessary. You just need the X and you need these little lines here. And so you literally just run your pen down here and transfer that, uh, that template onto the fabric. As you can see here, um, it's been transferred on. And so that's the first step. And um, once you have that done, you're actually ready to do um, the first step of your ribbon embroidery. And this is the ribbon that I've chosen. It's, it's a silk. Um, I really, it's the only kind I would recommend. You kind of don't say ribbon embroidery without using the word silk. It's usually called silk ribbon embroidery. It's the only kind of ribbon I'd really recommend for this because, I mean, silk is such an amazing fiber, but it's, it's strong, yet it's pliable, yet it's light, um, and it takes color so beautifully. You can get a lot of different colors of, um, silk ribbon, and this is a 1 8 inch size, which is, which is the perfect size for doing um, ribbon embroidery. So that's the type of ribbon that you'll be using. And then to thread, um, you actually want to thread this ribbon through a size 22 cruel needle. And so, and it has, which has an extra long eye on it, which is, is really makes it very easy to get the ribbon through. And I would cut the ribbon on an angle so that you can slip it through the eye easily. And then you just want to take, after you've threaded it through, you just want to take it and you just want to pierce the ribbon about an eighth of an inch from the end. And then you just pull it through. And then you have a nice little um, knot here so that it stays. But 
it's not a true knot so that it will get stuck in the fabric when you're pulling it through the fabric. And I would also recommend working in about 12 inch lengths so that if the ribbon gets too long, it can start to shred and, and, uh, and so you don't want to have that on your, on your ribbon embroidery. So that's how you get the needle threaded. And once you have it threaded, there's actually three stitches that we're using for um, this ribbon embroidery. And um, I always like to have the work lying flat. So I'm just going to pull my other samples away here. And whenever you do handwork like this, it's really important. Just try to keep everything as flat as possible. Um, on the table because it just makes your work more accurate. And so the three stitches that you'll be doing on this, you'll be doing a run stitch, um, which, is, which is a stitch that is familiar in a lot of different types of sewing, um, other kinds of embroidery too. And then you're going to actually just go in here and take a little bite out of the fabric with your needle. You're going to go up about a quarter inch and take a little bite and then you pull it through and you just tug gently and because of the nature of the ribbon it should just slide right through. And you want to keep it so that as much as possible you want to keep it flat so that it doesn't get curled around too much. And so you can see that that makes a nice little running stitch. And let me just take one more of those and show you again. Go up about a quarter inch, take another bite, about an eighth of an inch. And that goes through, just like so. And so, so yeah, so that's how you do the running stitch. And then another stitch that you actually do is to create the leaves is actually a stitch that is unique to ribbon embroidery, and it's called a ribbon stitch. And so to create a leaf, you're actually going to lay the ribbon flat like this. and then you actually put the needle point up at the point where you want the leaf to end and you bring it back through and bring the needle up through the base of the leaf and you just kind of tug this through gently and you'll see the leaf start to curl and um, you can create different shapes. Um, I'm pulling this all the way tight but you don't want to pull it too tight and you see you have this really pretty um, little leaf shape. So when you're making your pattern, don't worry about it being too perfect. Um, you know, just like in nature, you know, you can, get, you can get a little free form. You can get creative and you'll probably discover some other things, embellishments that you like to add too. But it, it is so much fun to sew with this ribbon. It's just a delight. So next. I'm going to talk to you about how to create um, these particular little templates. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to take the templates that you printed out, your flower and your bud template, and you want to trace them onto plastic. And so once you have your plastic templates, I'm going to start with the flower bud. And you're going to take that and take two squares of dupioni or taffeta, like a, good, a fabric that has a good amount of body. You're going to trace that onto there. And then you're going to cut a little slit in the middle right here. And then you're actually going to take the, uh, the, the uh, fabric and you're going to stitch around where you've transferred the shape of the, uh, of the flower. And you don't have to get this exactly accurate. But I am using a smaller stitch, a 1.5 stitch, um, because you want it to be a little tighter. So you just sew around the fabric bud, the fabric flower like that. And then once you've got it stitched out and got all around, you actually want to take the scissors and cut around about an eighth of an inch out to leave a little bit of a border. And then you want to turn it inside out. And so that you end up with this darling little flower bud. You can see that I have them in all these different colors. Um, you end up with this darling little flower. And then to close it, you actually whip stitch it closed. And then to do the bud, 
you actually do the same thing. You just stitch it on three sides and you open it up, you turn it out right here, and then you pleat it at the bottom and whip stitch it closed. And you can see that you have like a little sort of flower bud there. So there's your flower and your flower buds. And then when you get those on, you can see here that you have this really beautiful uh, design here. And what you want to do is you want to lay the flowers and the buds and arrange them. And then you want to secure them with a French knot. And you can see this one at the top here. It goes across a seam line. You want to sew that seam line in first and then attach the bud later. Um, but I just want to show you quickly how to do a French knot. You take a bite through the, the flower and the fabric with your needle. And then you just wind the thread around. Um, and then gently pull the needle through so that you create this knot. And you have got this darling little French knot here. And you can create a bunch of those around here. As you can see on the dress, I've also put some up here along the stem lines here. And so that's just a really wonderful way to decorate. And as I mentioned, you really want to just have a lot of fun with the color on this ribbon embroidery because the ribbons come in so many different types of colors that are available. And um, again, try this. It doesn't have to be on a couture dress like this. It can be on a handbag or a little, you know, like the side of a sweater. And I hope you really enjoy doing ribbon embroidery. <laughs>